So you know how about three and a half years ago I moved with like 50 animals almost halfway across the country? And then remember how a year and a half ago I moved all the way back? Well, what if I told you that I am moving again? <laughs> so yeah, uh, once again I am moving. Although at least this time I'm not moving nearly halfway across the country. This time I'm only moving about 10 minutes away from my current place. So this move is not nearly as stressful as the last ones were. As you can probably guess, I am currently standing inside of my new house and I'm really excited to be here today. Not only because I'm working on moving still, but because today I'm going to film an empty house tour to give you guys a look at my new place before everything gets moved into it. Now, I have already moved a couple things such as this plant and decoration and there's some pillows on the floor over here. But for the most part, the house is just completely empty, so we're gonna do an empty house tour. So as I mentioned earlier, the last two times I moved, I was moving like almost halfway across the country. The drives took like 18 hours, and as a result, I didn't film a whole lot because it was just so chaotic and so stressful. When you're moving a far distance like that, you have to move everything like all in one go. We only had the moving truck once. Couldn't easily just go back and forth as we pleased. So everything had to be done all in one go. So I just did not really have the time or energy to film much. But this time where I'm only moving 10 minutes away and I have a total of like two months to do it, this move is a lot less stressful than my previous ones. So I decided that I wanna try and film as much of it as I can. I'm gonna film myself moving some of the animals. I might do some other moving vlogs and whatnot. So since I wanna try and film a lot of my move, I thought that this would be a good way to start. Show you guys the house and what it looks like empty so then as it progresses, as I move things, as I get my animals set up, you guys can follow along with that journey. So I really hope that you will enjoy this video and all the other moving videos to come. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the empty house tour. I also just want to apologize if the audio is very echoey since there's no furniture or anything in the house. It is just very echoey right now, so I'm hoping that it doesn't sound too bad on camera, but I don't know, maybe it sounds kind of cool. I guess I'll find out when I go to edit. It probably sounds really bad though. Anyways, let's get on with the empty house tour. Welcome to my home. I'm excited to show you around. So I guess it makes sense to start by showing you the front door, which is right down here. So it is a split entryway, so that's how you get downstairs, and this is how you get upstairs. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you the upstairs level here. So when you very first walk up the stairs, this is the view that you're going to see. So this area straight ahead from us is kind of like a little dining area. That's why the, the chandelier there is so low. If I stand under it, it's literally like a centimeter above my head. But anyways, so this is kind of just a big open space here, which I personally really like. So this kind of dining area leads right into the living room here. And now of course I still need curtains. Well, I mean, I kind of still need everything because literally all I have in here right now is three pillows on the ground and a macrame plant hanger. One thing I really like about this house is that it has very deep window sills. And of course it has all of this built-in shelving over here. And one of the reasons why I I like this so much is because it means that I can put so many plants around the house. I can put so much stuff around here. I of course love my plants, but I also love to just collect little decorative things and I have so much space to put all of that now. I can fill up this entire ledge. I can fill all those window sills. There's so many places around the house that I can put things and I'm very excited about that. I do really like the layout of this area of just the open dining space into the living room. See, like if I stand under this chandelier right here, it is like 
literally right above my head. I could very easily bonk my head if I was just a little bit taller, but I guess it's perfect height for me. Over here we have another one of those nice deep window sills. I also have a feeling that my cats are gonna really like it. I'm sure my cats are gonna spend a lot of time up on those window sills, checking out what's going on outside because my cats really, really like the windows. So moving on from this area now, you can see that there's Actually, this little open counter here that looks over into the kitchen. So this is kind of cool. You know, you could have a little serving spot. You can make a little counter bar out of it. You could do whatever you want. You could fill the space with plants if you feel like it. Lots of little possibilities you could do with this little kitchen window here, but I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. As you could guess, behind this wall right here is the kitchen. So if we walk into the kitchen, Again, here is what you will see. That is just a garbage bag hanging on the door. And yes, it is a Disney World bag. I was actually just in Florida last week and I did film some stuff there. So I will have a little Florida vlog coming soon. But anyways, there's the current garbage bag. But this is what the kitchen looks like. So I'm honestly really happy with this. It's kind of like the perfect amount of space for me. At the house that I'm still currently living in, I almost found that the kitchen is just too big. There's a lot of counter space and to me it just feels like a lot of things that I have to clean that I don't want to clean. So I like that this one here still obviously has enough counter space to do things and like prep food and whatnot, but it's not like an absurd amount of space that I'm just always going to be cleaning all the time. So there's the sink over here. This is just obviously some stuff I have to put away, dishes and cups and whatnot. Obviously there's cupboards around here. We got the pantry over there. We have the fridge, stove and dishwasher, sink, all of your kitchen essentials. Obviously this is where a microwave will go and then Back there, I just have some recycling because when you're moving, you end up with garbage and you end up with recycling. So that's what's going on over there. The pantry here is actually quite roomy, which I'm pretty excited about. The pantry that I have at my current house is very small, even though the kitchen is very large. So I'm excited to have all of this storage space here in the kitchen. Of course, in addition to all of the cabinets and whatnot. And as you can see, I did put a few little decorations out. A few small decorative things are basically the only things I've moved so far because I've only taken like one car load of stuff here and I've basically just been bringing some of the small stuff that I don't still need at my current place. So decorations are all that's here at the moment. But slowly more stuff will be showing up here. All right, so now let's go ahead and leave the kitchen. And of course, you've already seen the dining area and the living room, but you haven't seen what's going on in this little area here. So first of all, I'll show you this fun little closet. It's kind of interesting because it's basically just a really long storage closet that has the house's water heater in it and then just a whole bunch of storage space here. But I don't know, this just seems like such a weird place to me to have a, not only just a weird place to have your water heater, but just a weird place to have a big storage closet overall, like right behind your living room, off of your dining area. I don't know, kind of weird, but doesn't really matter that much, I mean, it is what it is. And honestly, I'm really happy to have some big storage areas because I have things that I need to store and that is where they will go. So moving on from the interesting water heater storage closet, right ahead here, we do have a bathroom. And now this is just a half bathroom. So that means it doesn't have a shower or a bathtub or anything in it. It's basically just the toilet and the sink and I'm sure this is driving some of you crazy because yes, it drives me crazy as well. The toilet seat does not at all fit on the toilet bowl. It's kind of hilarious, but also just like, why would you do that? And again, I've put a few little decorative things in here so far, basically just some fake plants and this little plant stand here. Nothing else really, that's all it is, but there's the upstairs bathroom. And then to the right of the bathroom, which is also next to the kitchen here, we do have one single bedroom upstairs. So this isn't actually the main bedroom, it's not the master bedroom or anything. I really don't have a whole lot to say about it. As with most of the rooms right now, it is just kind of an empty room, but here is the upstairs bedroom. Oh yeah, and then 
right out front of the bedroom next to the bathroom there is like another closet here and it's not like a weirdly long water heater closet it's a just a normal closet so that is it for the upstairs portion of the house. Honestly, I find the layout of this house kind of interesting. The downstairs of the house is pretty much just bedrooms and nothing else. So yeah, honestly, I did find that kind of weird at first. It kind of like threw me off a little bit, but overall, I actually don't really mind it. I think especially once you see the layout of the downstairs, you'll understand that it's going to work out really well for what I need, which ultimately is all I care about. This is it for the top floor. Like I said earlier, I honestly am really happy with this layout out here. I love how open the living room and the foyer area is along with the dining room. I like that little window into the kitchen there. I think once I get my furniture and everything here, it's just going to look even better. So with that said, let's go and head downstairs and I'll show you what's going on down there. And downstairs we go. So again, we got to walk by the front door to get there. So if we're standing right at the front door, like right if you were to come in the house, you can look upstairs and see this stuff or you can look downstairs and then you see all this stuff. So let's Let's go check that out. So as soon as you come down the stairs on your right over here, there is just another big storage closet. So this one has some shelves built into it, which I really like. And as you can see, if I turn this way, it's also a pretty long, big storage space. So this is obviously under the stairway. But like I said about the storage closet upstairs, I'm actually really excited to have so much storage space. This is definitely more storage space than I had at my old place. So I think that this is going to make organizing my stuff a lot easier. And then on the opposite side of the staircase here is where you have the master bedroom. As I mentioned upstairs, the master bedroom is on the bottom floor of the house, which is kind of interesting in my opinion, but I do honestly really like this room. The windows are nice and big, so it lets a lot of daylight in, which I'm a big fan of. And as you guys know by now, I'm a big fan of my built-in shelving at this house here and this shelf runs across the entire room and I am so excited about this. I'm gonna put so many little things on this shelf here, so many plants. I'm gonna decorate this as much as I can and I'm really excited about that. And overall, the room is a pretty good size. However, there is a lot of doors in this room as you may notice. Something that's kind of interesting is this room actually has two closets. So there's a closet right here, as you can see, and then behind the door here, like if I move this out of the way, look at that, there's another door, and behind this door is another closet. Kind of weird that there's two separate closets instead of just like one big closet, but I mean, I'll definitely use them both. Realistically, I would prefer if it was just one big closet, but you get what you get, and I got two closets. And now technically, I guess you could even say there's three closets in here because we have another tiny little door here that leads to even more storage space underneath of the staircase here. So um, I have a secret little panic room in my bedroom, I guess, a secret little hiding spot. If I was a little kid, I would be so excited about this. I thought these kinds of things were like the coolest thing when I was a little kid. I would totally have made a cool little fort in here and honestly, Maybe I should still go and make a cool little fort in here. Maybe I'll like store my shoes or something in it, but I don't know. Having a cool little fort in here also sounds pretty fun. So let me know what I should do with my little mini closet down in the comments below. Should I make it a shoe storage place or should I make it a fun little fort? Let me know what you think. And now this other door that's in the middle of my two closets leads right into the bathroom. So this is really nice having a full bathroom bathroom right off of my bedroom. The place that I currently live does have an ensuite bathroom, but it is just a half bath, so it doesn't have a bathtub or shower in it, so pretty excited to have that. This bathroom is also a lot bigger than the bathroom I have at my current place. There's a lot more counter space, a lot more room for just my makeup and whatever else. And again, this bathroom does also have a weird number of doors on it. So there's the door that leads right into my bedroom there. Then there's a door that leads right out to the hallway. So, you know, kind of nice that you have multiple entry points. But not only that, 
There's a door that leads into the other bedroom over there. And then there's these two doors, which is where the laundry is going to go and could also just be used for some more storage. So there's a lot of doors in this bathroom. They are all very useful doors. It is just kind of funny to me how many doors are down here. So this door right here does lead right into the other bedroom. So technically we can go all the way from the master bedroom right here into the bathroom, right into this bedroom down here. And now this bedroom is basically the same size as the one that we saw upstairs. But I suppose this room actually is pretty exciting because this room right here is going to be one of my future pet rooms. So this is where I'm going to be keeping a bunch of my reptiles and stuff. And I do have a second room that I'll also be using as a pet room, which I'll show you in just a second. So honestly, I'm really excited that this pet room here connects right to the bathroom and to my bedroom. Makes things pretty convenient for me, makes things convenient for my animals. Of course, it does have a closet in here as well, but what makes things even more convenient is the fact that my second pet room is right through this door right here. So if we enter into this room, this is going to be my second pet room. Honestly, this one here is more like the main pet room and this one's going to be the second pet room, but just based on the order I showed them to you guys, that was the first and this is the second. Anyways, doesn't really matter, but yeah, this room right here and that room right there are going to be my two animal rooms and I'm really excited to have my animal rooms side by side like this and I'm really excited that they connect right to the bathroom. This this room here is technically what they consider just like the rec room, although it can also be considered a bedroom as well because it does have a closet in it, but for me, they're going to be pet rooms, so it doesn't really matter. And as you can see, it does also lead right out into the hallway here. So as I was saying when I was still upstairs, the layout of this house, especially in the downstairs, is kind of strange. It's definitely not like anything I've really seen before, but it works out so well for me. Because literally, if I walk down the stairs here, I can walk right into my bedroom, which then leads right into the bathroom, which then also leads right into one of my pet rooms, which then leads literally right into the next pet room. And then I can go right back out of here and voila, I'm back at the staircase again. So yes, there is a weird number of doors down here. It honestly is kind of absurd just how many doors there are. But really, I'm not complaining about it at all because all of these doors here make it so that I have just such a convenient layout for myself and all of my animals. Like, I am genuinely so excited about how this layout is going to work. Like, at the house that I'm currently living in, my pet rooms are so spread out and they're so far from like a water source at all. One of my pet rooms is on the very top floor of my house down at the end of the hallway. My other pet room is on the bottom floor of the house way down the end of the hallway. The bathroom is like on the top floor, kind of right at the top of the stairs. So I'm just running all over my house every day when I'm doing my animal chores. And this is going to make things so much more convenient. I can just come in my bathroom right here when I need to get water for the animals and then head right into the animal room, which is then connected right to the other animal room. So literally makes things so much simpler than they are for me and I'm really excited. I think that this is going to work out really well for me and my animals and this room behind me especially is actually a really big space so it's going to fit the majority of my animals and then whatever I can't really fit in this one will go into the smaller room. But yeah, I'm just really excited to see how it ends up coming together and I have a feeling that it's going to look really cool when it is done. Something I'm also just really excited about is the fact fact that this is really going to be my first time living completely on my own and personally I'm really excited for that. I'm definitely just at a place in my life right now where I feel like that's what I want, it's what I need. I think that it'll be a really good experience for me to be completely 
completely on my own and to be fully independent like this. So I'm just really looking forward to it. And I know I said this with my last move, but I'm hoping that it applies more this time. But I am really hoping that having this space that is just fully mine and the space that I feel comfortable in will make it easier for me to film and create content. That's definitely something I want to be prioritizing as I move here and after I move here. So that's part of the reason why I want to show you guys what it looks like right now and take you along the journey as I move in here and get things set up. I just really hope that you guys will enjoy this process and also just enjoy this house with me. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So this all concludes the empty house tour that I wanted to show you guys. You have now seen every room in the house. You've seen all my storage closets. You've seen my water heater. You've seen the absurd amount of doors that are on the bottom floor. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and end this here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my new living space and hopefully you'll enjoy coming along the journey with me as I get settled in here and get all my animals here. I'm really excited for that so make sure you stick around if you want to see how I move my 50 animals into this new place it's going to be a lot of work but thankfully it'll probably be less work than it was moving them all the way from Ontario so with all that said and done I'm gonna end the video here if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you do that and also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I post also check out all of my other social media. It will be down in the description below, but you can find me on basically every other social media app at MSAM99. I would love to have you guys over there, so make sure you check that out. Also make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. It really helps me out, so I would love to engage with you guys down in the comments. With all that said and done, let's get to ending this video. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video.